to 2020, the year of the even numbers, which makes me very happy. 2020 is so satisfying to me. As some of you who follow me on Instagram, Bray Farrington 1, if you're interested, if you are a follower, then you will probably realise that I am currently, by the time you're watching this video, sunning it up in South Africa, which makes me incredibly excited, but in order to prep and make sure I am ready and I come home to a clutter-free, Christmassy free home. I am pre-recording this video, but I am interested, when do you guys get the house clean for the new year, take down all the decorations? We've traditionally done it before my birthday, which is the 4th of January, but after New Year. So second or third is usually the day that we would take down our Christmas decorations. So I thought I would upload this video for the first one for 2020 before I get onto the South Africa content next week. I'm so excited to share it all with you. So if you are needing that little extra motivation today, make sure you save this video and come back to it as and when you decide to take your decorations down or if you just want a little cleaning motivation. I'm going to be focusing today on the living area, kitchen area downstairs because this is where the bulk of our Christmas decorations is and the mess for packing for holiday and Christmas break and everything like that is just manic. And if you want to see any previous house clean, speed clean videos, full deep house clean videos, I'll leave my cleaning playlist down below. So if you're all ready to get your hinge on and get the house tidy and you want to declutter, refresh, restart, then hopefully this is the video for you. So without further ado, let's get started with the January clean and I will start with showing you a before. A little bit embarrassed about it, but hey ho, and then get on to the cleaning. Okay, so this is my very embarrassing before. As you can tell, there is just a lot of clothes everywhere. There's washing, there's ironing pile. Obviously, Tom's been washing his shoes. There's just a lot to clear up, get organized and get ready for pre-holiday. So there's a lot of packing to do, present giving and all that sort of stuff by the time I was filming this video. So it was a hot mess. Let's just say that. And then this is the kitchen whereby we had some rubbish to take out, surfaces to wipe down, clean, clear and declutter, some washing to do as well. But before I get started on all of that, I do like to have a wash load going so that by the time I am finished cleaning, it will be ready to hang out and dry. So this time I am washing my bedding. I love the idea of coming back from holiday to fresh bed sheets. So I am getting all of our current bedding washed and hung out to dry for whilst we're away. These unstoppables, by the way, are amazing. These are the winter ones. They smell just like the lavish ones, which are my favorite scent. Which is your favorite Unstoppables scent? I'm intrigued. And if you've never tried it, OMG, you need to. So the first things first, I obviously need to just declutter and tidy up before I get onto the clean. So I have obviously sped this up into a little time lapse for you because there's quite a lot to do. Right, this is everything I have to put away, the decorations. I obviously have the tree box, so that's gonna fit back in there. Whew. And then I have this Tupperware box, which I think, yeah, it's from Asda. So I'm gonna put some little decoration bits in there. And then this I bought from Home Bargains last year, so hopefully they still have them. Uh, it's the first time I've used it though, because I saw it after I'd put my decorations away last year. And it looks really handy, so it's like a bauble, um, storage box so hopefully i'm going to fit majority of my baubles back in here time to take down the decoration it's sad but it's bittersweet because it's like kind of a good feeling to get that space cleared again and <sighs> let's do it first things first i'm just clearing the area ready to take down the tree and the christmas decorations on the windowsill 
it was very easy to put together this box for the decorations and in hindsight I really wish I'd have bought maybe even one or two more of these I found them really handy and the dividers are just perfect for the bauble storage but you could also leave the dividers out and put bigger decorations in there too so yeah in hindsight I would have got more of these uh, very handy highly recommended These branches, taking them out from the tree, literally got glitter everywhere. So there was a lot to wipe up afterwards. Um, but once I'd taken these out, I then went in to remove the lights and just took this piece of cardboard to wrap it around, making it very easy to get out next year. And I was also very impressed with this tree. It was from b &Q, it's seven foot, and it went away back in the box nice and easily as well. So very impressed with that. As you can see, the floor was covered in glitter and mess with a bit of dust in there as well. Just, ugh. Time to hoover up. This is my new G-Tech hoover. It was a Christmas present from my parents. And uh, so far, so good, loving it. So I'm also gonna take some flash wipes to just remove any sort of stains, marks, or anything like that, that the tree, the decorations and everything have left before going in with mopping the floor. When I had the hoover out, I also hoovered the rest of the living room and now you can see me going in afterwards, mopping the entire floor. Now I'm gonna take some winter mornings of flora just to use this up. It is still winter, obviously. So the way that I like to do this is just spray it on all the surfaces, dust everything down. And I also love to put it on the radiators because when the heating is on, it just makes it smell amazing. Now time to spritz some carpet fresh. This is the Winter Frosted Berries limited edition scent. I just pop this on the rug before going ahead and fluffing up all the sofa cushions, rearranging the throws, the pillows, and giving it a Febreze with this vanilla latte scent. I also spritz this on my little bean bag as well. And there we have a very tidy, decluttered, de fied if that's even a word, living room. I am so happy to be going home to this as opposed to having to do all of this upon my return from South Africa. So yes, this just makes me very happy. And now moving on to the kitchen, we first of all, Tom making a little cameo, um, helped me take out all the rubbish bins before cleaning the kitchen. I also like to pop a bit of the flora onto a kitchen towel like so and just pop it at the bottom of the bin. Just keeps everything nice and freshly centered. Now time to load, unload the dishwasher, set that going before holiday as well so that it's not sat with a load of dirty pots. And then just tidying up the sink area, any other pots dreamed about nothing else other than you i always thought i'd be waiting waiting in vain but suddenly there you were whilst i get cleaning on the rest of the kitchen i like to just pop some zaflora and hot water in the sink bowl and it just makes the kitchen smell amazing I am going to firstly start by essentially just wiping down all the surfaces with some kitchen roll before taking the flash wipes and flash spray on any sort of hard stains, grease and grime uh, before then finishing with my favourites of flora across all the surfaces. I 
was very then. Oh, I feel so much better whenever you're around. Whenever you're around. Then I'm just gonna hoover and mop as I did in the living room. Then I'm just gonna make sure everything is in its place and there we have the finished clean and tidy kitchen area. There you have it guys, that is my January house clean. I hope you're feeling motivated and inspired to get cracking on cleaning up yourself. Honestly, it is the best therapy to clean and have a before and after and then just kind of sit and enjoy the after for a minute. That is any, if I could recommend doing anything, it would be that. Just sit and enjoy the after and just, you know, take a look around at what you've achieved. I have a tick list as well because that sense of achievement by ticking things off your list is just so satisfying. And I do really find that a clean and tidy house makes for a decluttered and stress-free mind. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do give me suggestions and video ideas that you would like to see during 2020. Thumbs up if you like the cleaning videos and if you want more from me. Subscribe for more and follow me on Instagram for daily updates. I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys!